Hello there and welcome to our lesson. We look at integration of a <coughs> function. So we are given dy dx is 3x squared phi dy. So we get the integral of 3x squared. And uh, this is therefore given by 3x. So we add 1 to the power and then we divide with the same. So 3 then we add c. That is how we integrate. So we get uh, this to be 3x cubed over 3 plus c. And then we simplify and then we have x cubed plus c. x cubed plus c. And that will be the function y after integration. Generally, integration is the reverse of differentiation we do the opposite uh, on how we do integration our differentiation so the next part we look at the integral value what is meant by integral value a definite integral and indefinite integral so a definite integral is the one that is has limits the one that is defined while an indefinite integral is the one which is undefined. For example, we have the function 2x squared plus 3x, the limit 2 to 6. That is a de defined integral. While we have uh, the same, the integral of 2x squared plus 3x, this is undefined. It has got no limit. So if you are to go on and find the solution to this, oh, we will note that it the uh, definite, uh, def definite integral has a solution. So in, on integrating the function, you get 2x cubed over 3 plus 3x squared over 2 plus c. So we are supposed to substitute the limits 2 and 6 and then we find the difference. Starting with the 6 being the value of x being the greatest. And then we subtract when the value of x is 2. While for an indefinite integral like 2x squared plus 3x with no limit, we are supposed to leave it plus c like that as an expression. That is a, an indefinite integral. It is not defined. It is not defined. So we look at another case where we look at an example question on integration and how we go about solving it and how we go about solving it and we have a question here find the equation of a curve whose gradient function is given by that so i've taken you through how we integrate earlier alone we had looked at that so we have uh, the function i integrated by adding the one to the power and then dividing the same so for this one you will note now we substitute the value of uh, 0, 1, which is the x, 1, or x and y, to find the value of c for us to have a complete equation. So, therefore, y is 0, no, no, 1, while x is 0. So, we substitute that to get the value of c. So, this is uh, 0 squared plus 3x plus c and uh, this x again is still 0 so we replace that uh, x with 0 so we replace it with 0 and we find that the value of c the value of c will be 1 or is 1 and therefore the equation can be rewritten as y is equals to x squared plus 3x plus c plus 3x plus uh, plus c which is 1 so now if you are to differentiate this you'll get what we had before we integrated that's why i said integration is a reverse of differentiation and that's now the solution to add that particular problem so we look at an application question on integration uh, we have a question here and we, we have an equation given that 
So ds dt is for find the expression for the displacement in terms of uh, time. So s will be 4t plus c. So once we inte integrate 4, we get 4t plus c. We have the value of s and the value of t. So we substitute to get the value of c, the constant. Uh, that is s is 5 when t is 2. So we get or we substitute s to be 5 is equals to 4 into 2 plus c. And this is a 5 is equals to 8 plus c. And then therefore c will be equal to 5 minus 8 which is actually negative 3. And therefore we have the equation required. So the equation will therefore be s uh, uh, that's the equation s is equals to 40 minus 3. Now that we've got the value of the constant s With the distance moved on the particle during the fifth second, we have fifth second is between the fourth and the five second. So that duration is uh, during the fifth second. That is when we talk about during the. So we are therefore going to substitute the value of s being or the value of time being uh, five. So the limits are 4 to 5. So we substitute the value of uh, t being 5 and the value of uh, t being 4 and then we find the difference. The results gives us the distance moved by the particle during that particular fifth second. So on substituting on either, so we see first we substitute when t is 5 and we obtain 17 then t is uh, 4 we obtain 13 the difference which is 4 meters is the distance moved during that particular second which is 5 seconds so then another question find the distance moved by the particle between t is 1 second and t is 3 seconds again we substitute the value of t being 3 to the equation for displacement or distance and the value of t being 1 then finding the difference that gives us the the distance that was moved during uh, or between time is 1 and time is 3 so substituting the two we get that when uh, t is 3 9 we get the, the, the distance to be 9 and then finally we obtain the distance covered during that particular period to be 8 meters. So keep it here for more and thank you for joining me for this lesson. Welcome again. If you are new here and you are yet to subscribe, make sure you do so and also give me a like. Thank you and have a good evening.